My name is uh, Bob Chavan. I'm a professor of urology um, at the University of Vienna and New York University. I've been trained uh, in Austria and in the United States. I've done fellowships in the United States and I'm now director of urology of the Vienna Fo Urology Foundation and um, the urology department and division at the Rudolfina Foundation Hospital in Vienna, Austria. Um, our urology department at the Rudolfina Foundation Hospital has been recently promoted and we are uh, right now starting with the robotic program here with the newest robotic uh, technologies, uh, laparoscopy, endourology and more importantly I think also for prostate early detection with the new imaging technologies available that we have a close cooperation with the London University and uh, with our colleagues over there who have been basically uh, spearheading these um, uh, developments. Uh, therefore we really offer the highest technology having the possibility at the foundation to acquiring all the time the best technologies um, it gives us of course the privilege to offer to our patients the newest technologies in minimal invasive urology, minimal invasive surgery, but not only surgical techniques but also strategic decision making for diseases. I think this is very important because our um, weekly um, uh, roundtables with the whole staff allows us to give the patient uh, really a second or third opinion about their problems. We have um, experts such as Professor Janicek, we have experts from all over the world working with us that are here at the department and therefore the, the patient is not only confronted with one expert, he actually has the possibility at the same time he visits our unit in our department to get a second opinion at the same time. And therefore the decision that is offered to him, uh, the treatment decision or a strategic medical decision that is offered to the patient really englobes uh, a second and a third opinion at the same time so that the patient is pretty comfortable that he's not only following one single person's and that may be a key opinion leader's uh, thoughts and, 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 and decision but actually what is, uh, what is also the recommendation from another expert as well. Um, the Division of Urology at the Rudolfina um, Foundation Hospital is a center of excellence of urology and uh, I'm very proud to work here. This hospital and this institution uh, with over 300 beds has a old tradition of uh, serving dignitaries, uh, politicians, uh, down to businessmen from all over the world. Um, this has been an old tradition of this hospital. It started as a gynecological hospital for birth and it ended up with serving basically oncology, internal medicine, neurology, neurosurgery and all other fields. I think it's extremely um, important to have a center like this that offers a certain comfort for patients coming from abroad. They do have a second choice in different countries, but I think that Vienna uh, as a hub for medical services from all over the world uh, and the Vienna Urology Foundation and of course the Rudolfina Foundation Hospital, the Rudolfina House, have uh, a very good track and I would say 100 year old tradition of serving patients. Our main referral for the urology service has been patients from the uh, former Russian republics and Russia of course. Uh, we have direct flights coming to Vienna and we have basically from the moment the patient lands to the day he departs Vienna he is completely uh, covered and served by our services. Uh, we have patients from the Middle East, a lot from Saudi Arabia, uh, the Emirates, um, a lot of patients from East Europe coming to us, uh, Romania, Ukraine, uh, Moldova, uh, Bulgaria, Macedonia, Kosovo, Serbia, uh, Bosnia. I think uh, we have shown that um, our hospital is able to um, accommodate to different ethnicities and religious and social beliefs so that patients feel comfortable. At the same time, um, um, all our uh, centers, whether that is orthopedics, gynecology, urology or general surgery or radiology have shown that we can offer the highest standards that the patient does not have to travel and shop for medical services but he can really find a center that covers the highest technology uh, with the best services of medical care. At the Rudolfina Foundation Hospital, there has been a long tradition of philanthropy. 
I don't think it's only about uh, giving medical services and considering what uh, we do not want to uh, we do not want to compete with centers that are completely economically oriented. I think uh, we are health service providers and we do help patients who are in need. We have foundations within the foundation that helps us cover the medical expenses of those who are in need. If needed, we have uh, a service for children from East Europe and we really try to do our best to help those in need. Obviously, this is in combination with trying to provide a high standard of care. All of the colleagues that I'm aware of in this hospital are involved in this kind of activities. Most of them actually travel to East European countries or countries in need that may be in Africa. Some of them are involved with Doctors Without Borders and some of them do it with personal, in with personal initi initiatives. I think it's important not to forget what our primary uh, incentive is and that is really to provide medical care and help to those who are in need. So I think we will find not only a highly professional, highly technical and medical uh, professional service here, but you also will find a very strong human touch. And that human touch uh, is actually felt by our patients. And if you visit our museum or all our books of records, um, you will see the feedback we get from our patients, which is sometimes heart touching, whether that is a small child from Moldova or Romania, that had his operation here in which we helped basically cover his travel down to the operation um, to um, other individuals who came here with problems that they felt they're lost with. Um, I think um, I'm very proud to say besides the medical services we also are able to provide a big human service and that human touch is a service of not only the medical personnel but also the nursing services and the whole team of the Rudolfina House as such. And I think that is extremely important in, in, in today's times to combine high technology, the best service possible, with a very strong social and human touch. And that is an unbeatable combination that we are here. And that's one of the reasons why I am here. And I'm sure that's one of the reasons why most of us who work here are here. And I'm very proud of that.